So welcome to another episode of Driving with Ty. What's up? <laughs> so um, today I wanted to kind of talk about like the different options that you use for kind of mailing. I know sometimes you have like the poly like mailer from the post office versus the box. So what kind of determines like how you like put it into the particular like packaging? Like what, what are some of the rules there? For me? Yes. Okay, for, for me... Um, I go by, uh, if it's, you know, fragile versus not fragile, um, and the way that I, the method that I send it is based on, for me, it's based on, like, weight. Okay. Um, what I mean by that is, if it's, um, under 13 ounces, I can usually send it, uh, what's called first class meal, um, and that way it'll be a little bit less, but... If it is something that's not fragile, like a pair of shoes, and they're over 13 ounces, I usually can put them in a, um, what they call flat rate, a flat rate, um, uh, poly bag from the post office, and that bag is, um, by pri priority mail, 2 to 3D mail, um, so that's how I usually base it on, is off a of weight, and what it actually is, if it's a piece of clothing, if it's a pair of shoes, if it's something fragile, like a dish, or a mug, then I have to do some other uh, tweaking and figure out some other things. But um, for those basic things, clothing, accessories, shoes, Legos, uh, that's how I base my shipping methods. Okay, so regardless of what it is, like if it's under 13 ounces, we can put it in uh, I can put it in a poly mail. Poly but that's mail, first class mail. And I'll use first, yes, I will okay. use first class mail. Okay. Unless otherwise wanted by a customer, they really want it. Um, but first class is usually two to three day service. So it's about the same as priority, but, um, you know, it's not, it's not like guaranteed or anything. You can get there in five days, you can get there in four days. Um, gotcha. You know, they don't guarantee it. Okay, all right. So with the uh, priority mail, they actually have like box sizes. But let's say like you got something that's like three pounds. But you can fit it into like a priority like bag, like a poly bag. Yes. So they're basically going to charge you based off of weight. Um, or weight how does that sometimes work? it could be a uh, zone, I think, as well too. Oh, okay. I, I kind of notice when you send things to like California, and we live over on the East Coast, uh, the cost, the price goes up a little bit more. Okay. Um, but if you put it in those flat rate, uh, anything that's considered flat rate by the postal service, it doesn't. Um, it doesn't affect you because it's in that flat. It's a flat rate. That's it. Gotcha. You're paying that. Um, but if you try to go a different way, like paying, um, doing um, what's it called parcel, parcel select or a media mail or something like that, then that's when you can get some different pricing. Okay. With um, and and also regular priority. When it's a regular priority, it's not a flat rate. Then it can get really expensive to kind of send stuff to. That's a little further away, like way over West Coast, California, things of that nature. Gotcha. So, so in summary, I think you can find really good deals on like how to package things and ship it correctly with the correct options. And for me, I'm lucky because I have you. So, what do you suggest for somebody that doesn't have like a, a you around? Like, how can they get like informed on how to ship things properly? Well, I mean, well, now they can use different. I know a lot of people are doing. Um, some other people are doing YouTube videos on, uh, on shipping practices, but it's for me. I didn't, you know, go that route with, with looking into it. It was kind of trial and error. You know, it was kind of like just taking it in there, seeing what you know, and, and just getting familiar with with the postal worker. And they would kind of tell me certain stuff. Um, get, you know, let me know my options. Like, hey, you know, you could do this. No, I didn't know that. Okay, let me start doing it this way. Or I had to kind of feel my way out, so to speak. That's good. And just, I mean, just looking at the, the pricing. You go on USPS.com, you know, they try to give you a good estimate um, and calculation when you put in a zip code and the weight of your item and stuff like that. Just look at the pricing. Um, you know, if there's something that looks really, really expensive, like $6 or $12, you're like, mm, no. Then take it into your local post office and say, What's the cheapest way for me to, to ship this? Mm. They'll put it on the scale, they'll tell you where you can go. This, 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 or this. Okay. That's it. That makes sense. 
So, uh, you know, I have a tie when I have when I have questions about how we how we should ship things, and you know, I'm trying to take things a little bit more seriously because uh, you do have a good handle on it, and a lot of times. Once we get to the point of an item has been purchased and somebody has paid for it, it's like, boom, you're done. And, you know, I really appreciate that, but I still need to understand the thing. So thank you for uh, answering some of my questions today. So uh, it's a point in that time where I say uh, thank you for watching another episode. Um, please uh, subscribe to our channel. Comment if you have any comments or questions. She's very informative. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for watching. Bye.